So you like the idea of owning a caravan, but the price of a new one is well over budget. Why don't you do what I did some 40 years ago? Buy a pre-owned model, like this one, which is a five berth. It's a Swift Challenger and it's, good gracious, 17 years old. But the price is a mere whisker under £4,500. What does a new one have, though, that this one is lacking? Well, straight away, there's the hitch. A modern one has a hitch with a built-in stabilising device. No problems. Look, these are held on just with two bolts. So it's easy for your dealer to upgrade this. And then it's got twin plugs here. That was commonplace in older ones. And if your car's been set up for towing with a 13-pin single socket, no difficulty. You just go out and you buy an adapter. Let's check aspects of the body. Now this is checking it out, it's fiberglass. That's GRP. And there's a little ding down here. No problem. Easy to do patch repairs in fiberglass and you don't have to replace the whole front. So let's have a look down the sides. The sides are shiny aluminium, but this section is reeded, which adds a little bit of strength. Oh, look at these windows. No scratches there. Someone's looked after this. Uh, yeah, the light's gone a little bit yellow, not unusual, but you can replace that. And when we come round to the back, I can see there's a small ding here, but I wouldn't miss sleep over that. This I do like particularly. Again, a section here, which is not part and parcel of the back. So if you drove into something and damaged this, you wouldn't have to have the whole back replaced. You just have that bit changed. And that's good for me. Now let's take a look inside. Well, that's good to see a fly screen. You normally only get those on modern vans. The layout is such here that you've got three at this end, three beds, one of which is a bunk. And I noticed that it's okay for people up to 11 stone. That's 76 kilograms. And the other thing is that if you put the youngsters here for the night, you can actually send them to sleep with the door closed while the adults stay at that end. Looking down, I'm not so keen on the carpets that they fitted at this period of time in caravan manufacture because you couldn't lift them out to go outside for a good clean. Now behind this door, we've got the shower, we've got a wash basin, and we've got a Thetford bench style toilet, which is unusual. Nowadays, we tend to have swivel bowl toilets. Moving into the kitchen, this is centrally positioned and that's good for the overall weight distribution in a caravan. I haven't seen quite this fold-up type worktop system for a while. That's it, that's how it is. And it's an enamel sink. Again, they've gone out of fashion a little bit because they can get chipped. This one isn't chipped. Oh look, this is horrible. The hinge has all gone rusty. Is that a problem? Not in the slightest. Go down to a DIY superstore and you can get what is called piano hinge. You cut it to size and then that would solve that problem straight away. Underneath there's a good fridge. It has electronic ignition. One of the best catches I've seen and I would commend that and I think that's a fine feature on a van of this age. Up above we have all the central arrangements for the controls for electricity. Now that was something that they did at this period of time and sometimes there were so many controls it was like the cockpit of an aeroplane. In the bottom here we've got the mains controls, then we've got all the fuses for 12 volts and then we've got the battery condition meter. It's good, it's good, except the firm that made these is no longer producing these products for the caravan industry so if you had something that went wrong your only recourse is to go to a caravan breakers where you'll often see these refurbished and on sale. Sitting in the lounge, I have to remind myself that this caravan is 17 years old. I have to remind myself because the foam is so good, the resilience is there, and that is stunning and shows the quality. I'm not so sure about the pattern because that was okay all those years ago, and nowadays we'd have different tastes. But there we are. Up here is something which you don't get in modern caravans. You have two sorts of lights. First of all, you've got mains lighting, and I think that really is good to get the quality of mains light. You might then say, but I'm not going to stop on sites that have a mains hookup. I want 12 volt lighting. Well, yes, you've got that underneath as well. And this doubling up, you don't often see in modern vans. 
the lights themselves, well, you might think they're a little bit glitzy because here's an example of one of them, but they're still available. You can still get spares and it's a car type bulb. And if you don't like the gold, you can get them in silver. Naturally, this is uh, the uh, bedroom as well. It's a double bed across there, should you so wish, or you can have single beds going this way. And that's it, except I would finally say, velvety curtains. It's a little bit too plush for me, but I know that some of you watching this will say, Ace, that's good quality again. So this is a caravan built in the late 1990s. It offers home comforts, but there's downsides too. Maybe difficult is getting spare tires. Things like the appliances and getting spare parts. You might not like the upholstery either. But what a great way to enjoy the caravanic experience without paying all that money on a brand new caravan.